Tonight, Storm Team 4 is looking ahead to winter weather with a day long series of stories all about getting us ready for that blast of cold. We're learning more about the snow fighters keeping the roads clear and safe when winter weather strikes. Meteorologist Tara Lane gives us a behind the scenes look at how it all works. Well, even though it's a dry and sunny day, I'm dressed for the occasion. I've got my snow boots on, I'm driving a snow truck. Let's go. Franklin County engineers let me hop behind the wheel. Okay, here we are. Of one of their shiny single axle trucks, and I quickly found out how tough of a job it is. And you always have to stay alert because yes. people follow too close, they cut you off, and they just don't give you any time. And that's one of the biggest things that we face is people just get impatient and don't understand. Because I don't have a snow truck operator's license yet, equipment operator Rodney Millette came along with me on the course. Turn the sharpest shield turn. Going through the first big turn, there it is, my first cone casualty. Next up, tap these sticks at just the right spot. So that represents a parked car. Right yeah, that could be um, any obstacle. You know, you got to get close to it. You don't want to get snow off the road, but you won't get too close because you don't want to damage the vehicle. Another obstacle down. Now on to backing up. Not easy in a big truck with a large snow plow attached. <laughs> it's a little bit more difficult than it looks. So after a lot of back and forth steering and what sounded like grinding brakes, I made it through the course. Yeah. Okay, course is over. Rodney, how did I do? You did perfect. <laughs> didn't hit anything. You didn't hit any cars. It was an important part and you made it back home safely. Now, all that, of course, was just the driving part. When you raise and lower the actual plow, think of all the things on the ground they have to watch out for. Railroad tracks, curbs, manhole covers, so they can be constantly lifting, lowering, and turning. And, of course, as Rodney alluded to in the story, there's certainly no daydreaming at the wheel, just kind of sitting back and, you know, driving. Well, you were just speeding right along. <laughs> you would be the slowest snow plow oh, operator. Oh, yeah. You should see for Don't do my street. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm in any uh, danger of doing that. All right. soon, but it, it was a good crew out there. So. Yeah, nice right. job, Tara. <laughs> Thank you. Well, stay with NBC4 throughout our newscast tonight for more winter weather stories coming up in just about 10 minutes. Find out where our road salt supply is coming from. We'll go inside the salt mine with Storm Team 4's Ben Gelber.